Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're taking a look at the Xmark Fitness Elite Bearing Barbell. Guys, so Xmark Fitness isn't typically a brand that you find in a whole lot of CrossFit gyms as of yet, but they have just released a slew of new barbells, this being the most top shelf one that they sell, an eight bearing elite series barbell that is commercial quality. The tensile strength on this barbell is 185K PSI tensile strength. The coating on the shaft is a manganese phosphate, which has a more chalky feel to it over your normal zinc or black oxide counterparts. The diameter of the shaft is 28 millimeters. It has dual IPF and IWF markings. The knurling is a light depth knurling, but it feels a little bit closer to medium depth because of the way that the coating is. The sleeves are coated in chrome. They also have identification bands and they are held on by snap rings. Once again, this bar has eight needle bearings, which is four needle bearings per sleeve. The sleeves rotate very, very smoothly. If I just rotate the sleeves, they're gonna spin for about 10 rotations, which is a pretty good indicator that the shaft will spin freely within the sleeves. This barbell also comes in a six bearing variant. And in my experience, to be honest with you, two bearings doesn't really do a whole lot to affect the spin of a barbell. And if you wanted to save a little bit of money, you could probably just go away with going for the six bearing variant. For performance, I'm gonna say that this barbell is probably better off suited for multi-use or just CrossFit wads or just an all around gen pop CrossFit barbell. If you just needed to stock up an affiliate, this would be a very good barbell. Or if you just wanted one barbell for a garage gym, this would be an excellent barbell to have. The sleeves spin excellent on this barbell, which would be good for CrossFit, but not so good for power lifting. The shaft diameter is 28 millimeters, which should be good for CrossFit and Oli, but not as good for presses. The shaft does not whip as much as other Oli bars that I've tried, so that would make for a good CrossFit bar or powerlifting bar, but not so much for a good Olympic weightlifting bar. You see where I'm going here? This bar kind of just is an all-around good barbell, but it doesn't really excel in any one area, other than the fact that it's just kind of good for everything. My favorite feature of this barbell has got to be the coating of the shaft. I really like the way that the manganese phosphate feels. It's super grippy. You you don't need a whole lot of chalk and it doesn't tear up your hands either. Now the best part about this barbell is that it only retails for $232 shipped on Amazon Prime. You can get the six bearing variant for $212 which is a phenomenal value if it performs anywhere like the eight bearing variant does. Now I know there's a lot of other barbells in this price point so you kind of just have to base your selection off of the shaft coating. If you like a more grippy coating, then definitely go with the Xmark bar. If you needed a little bit more scratch resistance, then you might wanna go with something that's chrome plated. And if you needed something that resists humidity, then you definitely wanna go with something that is a stainless steel option. If you guys have any questions about the Xmark Fitness Elite commercial barbell, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.